Hey people of YouTube, this weekend I'm working on snowshoe. You remember that Jeep, don't you? Yes? Okay, cool. Well, I'm ripping out the old T14 three-speed transmission in this Jeep, and I'm gonna be installing this T18 four-speed with an overdrive. Should be a pretty straightforward project. I already modified the T18 to bolt up to the V6 bell housing. This is a Ford T18, so I put the factory Jeep adapter plate and main shaft on it, so it bolts up to the transfer case. And I already made up my shift linkage bracket for the transfer case and overdrive. So what makes the Ford T18 ideal for the Buick V6? Well, this bolt hole and this bolt hole almost line up with the factory's holes in the bell housing. They just have to get egged out a little bit. And then the Ford case has this ear right here, which is unused. So you just have to locate the hole in the bell housing and drill it out. And it lines up with the factory bell housing bolt hole. The input shaft, believe it or not, is the right stick out for the V6 bell housing. So you just have to leave that alone. And then on this side here, there's a unused ear right here that I just drilled and tapped for a bolt. And then this is the factory bolt hole for the Ford bell housing. So I made this plate up with a spacer and used the existing V6 bell housing bolt hole. Advanced Adapters sells a Ford ID throwout bearing with a GM groove in it. So that makes that straightforward. Novak Adapters sells a GM OD pilot bushing with a Ford ID on it. So that makes that really easy. Pulled out the transmission floor cover. And look at all that room I have to work. I got snowshoe on the lift. So now it's time to remove drive shafts and all the bolts holding the transmission in. Got the old transmission and transfer case out. It wasn't too bad since I've already had this out before when I built the Jeep. Now I'm gonna work on swapping over the T18 onto my transmission jack. Got the transmission and transfer case made it up. Now I just have to install the overdrive and put the bell housing on. Then I'll slide it up into the Jeep. I installed the planetary gear drive assembly and torqued the integral nut to 120 foot-pounds. I'll do the snap ring installation, which is the most crucial part of this whole install. So here's the locking washer and the snap ring. So to install these, you need a magnet and some needle nose pliers. And if you look at this washer, there's a little semicircle on the top of this one. And that corresponds with a groove, if you can see it, in there. I got the special washer installed and the semicircular tab is sitting in the 11 o'clock position. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's four cutouts. There's one at 11, one at 12 o'clock, one about five o'clock, and one about the seven o'clock position. Next, I'll install the snap ring, which is very important. If that's not properly installed, it'll fall and get chewed up in the gears and destroy the overdrive and transfer case. Snap ring is installed. I can tell it's in there because I can spin it around and it doesn't fall out of the groove. If you're doing this in the Jeep, it's a little more difficult to see if you have it in properly. 
but it's good to double, triple, quadruple check this step. Before installing the rest of the overdrive, make sure the oil catch is installed or you'll starve the rest of the overdrive of oil. The T18 is bolted in snowshoe. Just gotta do the transfer case mount, just sitting right there, and start hooking everything back up. It's come along quite well. I ended up having to pull the overdrive unit out. I was having some meshing issues with it. So I just slapped the original main drive gear back in. I'm gonna run with that for a little while until I figure out what's going on with the overdrive. I'm making some ghetto drive shafts. Normally I would cut this weld off and then cut the tube back and insert the yoke and the tube and dial indicate it in on the Jeep. But with the tracks on there, it's such a bear to turn the axle, it'd be hard to dial indicate it straight. So made a line and I got it clamped to a piece of angle iron. I'm just gonna weld the tube up. I got the ghetto drive shafts installed. They seem to run pretty straight, straight enough. And then I installed the advanced adapters chain clutch linkage in here. Clutch seems to operate nice and smooth now. So I'm gonna take it off the lift and go for a test drive. Snowshoe seems pretty happy with its new transmission. I just wish there was more snow to play in. Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe.